folks, I've been waiting for this, and it has arrived. Yes, uh, you're in for a real treat here. We have uh, guests in our studio because it's Thursday afternoon, and we're doing our melody moments and whatnot. And I'd like to say hello to Linda Arsenault. Hello. Hi, Linda, and Jeff Parsons. Hi. There. My husband and wife team here. And, uh, yeah, uh, we are actually, uh, we're going to debut two brand new CDs, right, Linda? That's right. right. Now, they have come all the way in from Murray Corner. And, uh, yeah, way down there by the water. So I suppose when you listen to our forecast, when we say uh, along the coast, it could be this. It'll be a little warmer. That's the one that you're interested in, right? Yeah, we're pretty uh, used to the to the <laughs> weather being a little extreme there, especially through the winter. A little different, that's right. It's a little chilly right yeah, now. Yeah, but uh, you've, been, uh, you've been quite busy. Uh, you've come up with a new CD. Uh, it's actually two CDs. And, folks, this is, this is very interesting. Uh, it's Redneck Girl, and it's done all of the songs. There are, what do we got? We got 12 songs on each CD uh, because there is an English and a French. So instead of a mix of English and French, you have a totally English and a totally French CD. That is correct. Right, okay. And uh, we will give you the option of which one you like uh, later on today. I, I, when, during this interview, I'll give you a chance to call in and you can uh, win one of these CDs and uh, it'll be. Um, uh, your choice whether you'd like to listen to the French one or the English one. I've listened to them both, and they're both good. Of course, I understand more of the English one, but uh, <laughs> and uh, so uh, the, now we talked. I think the last time you were in that, that this was a possibility that you were going to do this, right? And so it it has come about. So uh, um, were you working pretty steady on it, or was it just as things went along? Um, um, well, really, it was written in probably a matter of what would you say, Jeff, a month. I would say within a month. Wow. Uh, we had a few ideas jotted down before. And okay. All it took was a open bottle of wine and the music <laughs> come out. <laughs> Don't forget we have um, a great family around us and friends, mm-hmm. and which is the inspiration for a lot of these right. songs. Yeah. So it was pretty easy. Yeah. Well, uh, I, I listened to these. In fact, I, and I, uh, I was listening to them at home, and... Uh, I said to my wife, I said, here, and I put the headphones on her, and I said, listen to this, and so she listened to that one, yep, and she listened to that one. She had uh, two two-word comments. The first comment of two words was, she's good. <laughs> the second two-word comment was, she's good. <laughs> so, yes. And uh, it, uh, people, I, I, they, they sh- if they listen to the station, they should have heard you before, because my green rubber boots, one of my favorites, that kind of sums things up. That that breaks it right down to the basics, <laughs> yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, that's pretty much yeah. the story of my life. Yeah. I, uh, and that's that's the mm-hmm. one that you had uh, when when you when we interviewed you before, you were in for your interview. Right. And uh, so this is, this is, but this is really neat, like to have one that's, uh, you know, Well, my specific. favorite is Marie Corner Harbor. Ah, uh, that's a that's a nice one. Yes, <laughs> that's a nice one. And because uh, it and the thing, of course, being from New Brunswick, I thought, well, this is kind of neat because it's a New Brunswick harbor. Because you hear so many, there's so many harbors in Nova Scotia being yes. almost totally surrounded by water. You know, mm-hmm. it was nice to have a a, a harbor song about a New Brunswick harbor. So, there you go. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think even the the local people uh, within the community were quite happy to hear that too yeah. it was uh, <laughs> yeah. it certainly made her an instant celebrity and i was just her little tag along <laughs> that's right well now now jeff uh yeah you're you're the tag along but when i was looking at this i mean uh these songs like uh linda is the main vocals in most of them but uh, you uh you co-wrote you uh also sing back up on some of them and one of them which we are going to play you sang yourself uh, solo so- yeah, yeah. I so guess I, you, you seem to have progressed quite a bit <laughs> since you were here last. Well, uh, my progression is based on uh, the fear of your wife. And oh, yeah, you know no, what you're I, told. I work on his fishing boat, so he's gonna be on my CD. <laughs> That's exactly what I was told. Okay, if yeah. I'm gonna work on your boat, you're gonna work on my album. Okay. There you go. Yep. Is your boat called Redneck Girl? Yes, it is. It is okay because <laughs> on the cover it shows Linda sitting up there on the fore deck. I'll call it. I'm not really up on nautical terms with her guitar, and it says Redneck Girl down there. And I I was well, wondering, is that just the name of the CD, or is that really the name of the boat? Originally, I was sitting in the living room, and I started a song, and it was just the beginning of it, mm-hmm. and it was about a, a redneck boy, mm-hmm. Jeff, who loved his redneck girl, Linda, mm-hmm. and then he's like, oh, wow, that would be a real good name for my boat. So, so he names <laughs> his boat Redneck Girl, and then all of a sudden, the song's not about me anymore. Not it's about, about his boat. About his boat. Okay. Yeah, the boat was under construction, and I hadn't <laughs> selected a name yet, so yeah. instantly... 
you know when yeah. i heard her the song it was just like the light bulb went on and went hey yeah and we could do the album cover i mm-hmm. like right. i instantly said the album cover could be a picture of the boat with you sitting on the bow yeah right. so it all came so. together yeah well yeah and it's 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 hard for for the female gender to appreciate things like this right jeff <laughs> Well, it depends. I'm not Linda's trying to get, really trying to get you in for, trouble. You no. got to drive back. No. <laughs> well, Linda, Linda uh, personally is Linda uh, Marie. You mean? Yes, Linda Marie. Linda Marie yeah, because she, we have a we have a song here. She, she <laughs> enjoys. Uh, she actually enjoys fishing uh, and yeah. being on I the do. boat and. Yeah. And uh, I think was more excited to get the new boat than I was, to be honest. <laughs> I didn't enjoy it quite as much the two days that I had to do bait, but the banding uh, is good. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the bait stuff, yeah. <laughs> that could be a little smelly, could it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, it just happened that uh, one of my men that were working with us had broke his hand, and, and the other guy had actually uh, was off moose hunting. So okay. Linda was in charge of the bait for a few days. And yeah. okay. uh, I wasn't as... How do I put it? I'm, I wasn't loved quite as much when we get home that night, you know. Like, hey, well, if she, I get over it. If she's not captain, she's got to, 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 to look after her assignment. Oh, I duties. told her she's the boss at the house, and yeah. I'm the boss on I'm the boat. The boss on the boat. Yeah. So some days you sleep in the boat. Uh, well, no, not yet. Oh, not yet. <laughs> not, yet. not yet. Okay, that's good. Okay. Well, why don't we get things started here? We're going to play the title track from Linda's CD. I think people should uh, appreciate. Uh, really who we're talking to so here we go with linda arsenault and uh, let me see if i read on here are you backing this up anywhere jeff uh, let me see it says uh no no no, 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 no singer no. linda arsenault no there's no there's no jeff on there but oh that's all right we'll get jeff around here right a little bit linda arsenault and redneck girl at eight minutes past two o'clock Redneck 
There you go. Redneck Girl, the title song of Linda's new CD. Linda and Jeff, because Jeff did a whole lot of writing on it, and he's done some singing on it, so we, we, we must give you credit for that, do you? That's right. We were, we were talking I about agree. how you've come a long way since you were last here. <laughs> he's he's, uh, he's becoming quite the musician and the song. Oh, boy, boy, boy. Uh, you might get a, you might have to check out uh, the uh, fishing opportunities in Nashville here. If you, yeah, if you I don't that expect up. that's going to happen. Don't I'm, I'm quite content that. to be a fisherman and retire <laughs> okay. in one. The first time when he was in the recording studio, he kept telling Paul, you do realize she pulled me off a fishing boat to bring me to the studio. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do, folks, that, that was the title cut from that uh, one, and we're going to play a few more here, but uh, if you would like to uh, have one of those CDs, and we'll give you your options, whether you want uh, an English or a French, how about if you were the first one to call me here at the station at uh, 902-660-1079, and uh, we'll send that out to you. And uh, so, well, now, what do you what do you what do you want to get across to the people? How are things going? Are you do you perform out and about any, or do you just stick to the? Um, um, I haven't performed since two thousand fourteen. Okay, I mean, um, hello, hello. Do we do we hear anybody there? Hello, hello. Hi, Bob. How are you? Hi, how are you? Got you on air here, buddy. Who am I talking to? Jerry Rinder. Jerry? Terry. Terry oh, Terry Reinders. Oh, Terry Reinders. Okay. Oh, enough said. Yeah. Okay. We don't have. We don't need more information than. That. <laughs> so, I'm getting. I'm getting. Uh, I, I got you. I got you on air here, Terry. So, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, congratulations. Uh, you. Uh, you've just won a CD. Your. Your uh, pick, English or French. You can drop in here to the station and pick it up. And uh, Linda would be. Uh, yeah, very pleased if you would play that for all your friends and they'll so that they'll want to come in and buy one. How's that sound? Very good, and tell them to keep up the good work. Yeah, love it, music. I go to a lot of music. Yeah, they're they're it's uh, it's it's nice that they're so close and so talented, eh? So oh anyway. boy. Yep. Just around the corner from my cottage. So. Oh, is that right? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, well, if they sing loud enough, you'll get entertained down there. So that's great, Terry. <laughs> this will be at the at the front desk here for you. Okay. Thank you very much. Good. Good luck. Thanks, Terry. Bye now. Okay, so there we go. Counselor from here, here <laughs> Counselor Terry Reinders. <laughs> he picks up the uh, the uh, first uh, first CD there. So uh, yeah, he'll great. be he'll be in to pick that up. And uh, as you said, his cottage is just down that way. So you never know. Nice. Yeah. But no, we were talking. Do you go out and perform any? Uh, or are you um, um, well, mo- I used mostly to perform, a stay homer? I used to perform with my family. The for, family or uh, total, Yeah, right. for fourteen yeah. years, and I haven't performed since um, two thousand fourteen. Jeff and I have done a couple of. Uh, we'll play at the church sometimes yeah. for the sales of remembrance, and we did at the center mm-hmm. um, once or twice. But other than that, I haven't. I've been concentrating basically. We are we write together, and you know between that and fishing season, mm-hmm. it's yeah. been keeping me pretty busy. Yeah. So I'm not saying I'll never do it again. Yeah. Um, there are some talks here and there, but yeah. I just um, we'll see. Yeah. Now you say fishing season. Is this lobster fishing, or is it lobster and other fishing? Or? Um, well, I fish more than lobster. She she fishes lobster with me. That's yeah. but uh, okay. I fish like herring, mackerel, and scallop. As okay. Well. Yeah. So, so you're you're busy. How much of the year? Like well, uh, what, what? from usually late April till uh, mid October. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, and it's uh, it's kind of a not an eight to four eight to five job or anything like that, is it? Or nine to five? I know. It's, 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 it's really with fishing. It's it's most people that are local no it's it's a job that it isn't all about always on the water either there's yeah. lots of lots lots of other days and time and, and stuff yeah, yeah you put in hours that you never see but anybody who's self-employed knows that it's yep. certainly not special to to be in a self-employed person i mean no that's no. right yep so and in the meantime you do get a chance to do this so uh it it now back to jeff i know this is linda's <laughs> linda's cd <laughs> hey, but jeff, i don't mind yeah <laughs> <laughs> but but jeff uh like uh uh have you just got involved in this, like through Linda encouraging you to do this? Yes, to definitely. Put, put your input into well, writing a song honestly, and performing. Honestly, I grew up. Most people, there was very few people in the family that played instruments. Okay. And if they if they did, I'm not even sure who it was. So it would, weren't really exposed to music yeah. at a young age. Mm-hmm. Played sports mostly was what I was always involved with heavily when I was young. Mm-hmm. And even through as I got older, I coached and. And continued to play as I was like even as a men's we used to play basketball yeah. and hockey. And, yeah. But uh, I had bought a guitar a couple of years before I met Linda, and 
thought I might learn to play it. I just kind of played around <laughs> on it a little bit. You know how it goes. Yeah. It looks nice sitting in the corner yeah. collecting yeah. dust. And when yeah. I met her, she uh, she said, well, you're going to learn to play the guitar. And yeah. so we it started with that. And then it was like, well, now you're going to learn to sing and play the guitar. And then it was, I guess, the progression to just helping her write was, yeah. I'm, I like to talk. So she said, <laughs> you have a gift to give, so you should you be able to write. You can definitely write. write. So, <laughs> no, so. he did really well, and he, he just he learned very quickly. So I guess you really can um, teach an old dog new tricks. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah, well... Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> and and it's, it's, it's just a matter of to what degree, right? <laughs> yeah, and, and you know the saying, happy... Happy wife, happy life. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So it all rhymes. Now, the, the uh, uh, when I listen to this CD, Linda, there, there, there seemed to be a constant sort of a theme come through it to me. And I, I remember, I, I thought back to your the other uh, CD, the Green Rubber Boots, how you enjoyed, you know, the the, the, the title song there, getting rid of my. Office, office clothes and, yes. and putting on a my rubber, rubber boots. boots. This one here, it seems like, you know, like the, the one apple of my eye. So this, I obviously, your husband. Yes. And then, uh, like, uh, oh, let me see. I, I got I got to look at some names here, and I, and I can't do it in French. <laughs> but I know what I'm trying to say, but, like, uh, uh, apple of my eye. Uh, our vows. Um, then you talked about Linda Lou. We're going to play this one. Linda Lou and Linda Marie. Mm -hmm. uh, being apart broke my heart. It's never too late. Um, waking up next to you. It seems like that this the, the whole uh, underlying theme to this entire CD is like family, simplicity, contentment. Uh, you know, I'm, happiness. I'm happy with my life yes. the way it is. Yes. And. And, and and that that seemed to be it, was that uh, um, was that a did you think of that theme before you started or is it just that as you wrote the songs that theme always came about well uh, I how think do you it do goes it do you? deeper than that because it's basically the way that we live okay you know like and even like in life you, something bad can happen mm -hmm. but then you turn around and it turns into something different something right. better something you know yeah. so you it's not you have to just take life as it comes but then try to keep it with a happy mm -hmm. ending <laughs> yeah and the people in our lives that, right. you know really influenced a lot of it and, yeah. and where the ideas would come from and, oh for sure and linda has always like she told me this when i first met her that she likes to put a happy spin on anything even yeah. if it's a bad right. moment yeah so because she doesn't believe that writing about things that are sad have to be sad you, yeah. you can always look on the the other side of that and, and yeah. what comes out of it so now the family especially say you know you have to be careful what you say in front of me because it might end up in a song it might end up in a song <laughs> <laughs> yeah right unless you're talking about your dog running away and your truck don't work and you ran out of beer or something like that's that. right so that, you don't you, you, it's not well that has <laughs> happened to me in the past so <laughs> <laughs> that was that was before you wrote songs. About it. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. No, so that, that no, that's what what I got, and and it's uh, like if people listen to it. I mean, I, I sat there and listened to it, and I thought, yeah, this this is well, great. It, yeah, you this, just this like is, to feel hey, happy listening. Run, to run, it. run your life according to the Redneck Girl CD, and and <laughs> I think right. I think things should be all right. You they know, they should so, be all right. Yeah. And uh, so, like you talk about when you met and uh, whatnot, and mm -hmm. then of course, uh, let me tell you, like, oh, I got some stuff on the screen here. I got to get rid of. There we go. Okay, we're getting back up to things here now. Uh, yeah, so uh, talking about uh, how things were, and then you got married. Well, uh, the uh, redneck girl, I guess this wouldn't be the boat because it was, it was just, just built, right? Is Yes, it was just yes. completed uh, okay. in July of this year. Yeah, we year, actually fished. Like, we used it mm -hmm. for fishing last summer. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So you were married before this boat came along. Well, we got married on his father's boat. Oh, it was his father's boat. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Cause I'm, I've tried to lead up here, folks, to the next song that we're going to play, and it's called Let's Get Buried on a Boat. And I think we talked about, touched on this uh, last time we were here, and, and it was tied to the dock. It wasn't out in the water in the waves or anything like that. It was tied that, to the water. No, it was tied to the dock. Yeah. And I, I personally, I had, a, I had my other older fishing vessel as mm -hmm. well, but... 
Um, I just wanted to be married aboard my father's boat because it was actually the last boat he built. Okay. Um, so the April again. The the April again was the name of it, and and yeah. he actually still fishes in that vessel. Okay. So it uh, it made it special. Yeah, so it made it a little more special. Yeah. And we did go for a sail after. Okay. And we had a toast on the water and everything. Oh, yeah. okay. It was really fun. Yeah, super. Okay, so we're going to play another song from this CD, and it's called "Let's Get Married on a Boat." Now, there's a novel idea. Hey, I have an idea. I know what you're thinking. Let's get married on a boat. In the beautiful sunshine, we can sail off to the sea. And say I do, we will ride the waves of love. That will last forever, and the rising tide keeps me close to you. Sunshine, we can sail off to the sea and say I do. We will ride the waves of love that will last forever, and the rising tide keeps me close to you. And all that I can see is you, my love. There's no one else for me. Let's get married on a boat. In the beautiful sunshine, we can sail off to the sea. And say I do, we will find the waves of love that will last forever. And the rising tide keeps me close to you. Let's get married on a boat In the beautiful sunshine We can sail off to the sea And say I do We will ride the waves of love That will last forever And the rising tide Keeps me close to you And the rising tide Keeps me close to you There we go. Getting married on a boat. Now, let, uh, you'd have to be careful of the weather, too, wouldn't you? So, hey, let's take a look at the weather at 25 minutes past. Take a look at a couple of days here. We're looking at a cloudy day today with periods of snow beginning this afternoon. Let me see. I look to my left. I don't see any out there yet, but uh, that's okay. Uh, could amount to 2 centimeters, and wind will be up to 15 with a high of minus 3. Wind chill today near minus 10. It's periods of snow tonight, another 2 to 4 centimeters. Uh, blowing snow over exposed areas overnight, too, and wind north 40, gasting to 60 overnight with a low of minus 12 and the wind chill of minus 20 overnight on friday this is a little bit more complicated periods of snow ending in the morning and then cloudy with a 60 percent chance of flurries and that could be worth two to four centimeters worth there and uh, blowing snow over exposed areas in the morning wind is north 40 gusting to 70 the temperature falling to a minus 16 uh, in the afternoon and a wind chill of minus 20 in the morning dropping even further to a minus 29 in the afternoon with a risk of frostbite and friday night it's flurries windy and a low of minus 20 saturday a mix of sun and cloud with a high of minus 14 out there right now folks we've got minus four degrees so we're back now with jeff and linda that's linda arsenault and jeff parsons husband and wife uh recording duo songwriting duo uh fishing duo <laughs> Yep, you name it, we That's do it. Quite the list. <laughs> we done did it. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, now um, the musicians on your on your um, on your CDs. Uh, yes. 
uh, local people? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Well, first of all, I record at Paula Blanc Studio in uh, Bactouche. Okay. That's where we go. And he's uh, he also plays the bass on the uh, recordings. Because he plays bass with uh, Brian Mallory. Brian Mallory. Yeah, I know. I, well, I most Paul. of these yeah. guys play with Brian Mallory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mike Perel is on drums. Mm-hmm. Um, Matt Hayes on the fiddle. Okay. Aaron Curry, he did the electrical guitar and some acoustic, I think, too, didn't he, Jeff? Mm-hmm. I'm not sure about the acoustic. But okay. Yeah. Uh, Richard Burke did guitar. Uh, Sylv- Sylvain Pouliot on steel. He's from Quebec. Okay. Um, he played on uh, Pour l'Amour du Country, a French show. Okay. Um, on piano, it's Joël Robichaud. And on vocals, uh, harmonies, Louis Cormier. He's actually from the Bluegrass yep, Diamonds. Yep, no, and uh, uh, my daughter, Vanessa. Vince, Vincent's little boy. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, you can, al- you can always, always tell Louis he's the one, the most animated uh, guitar player. <laughs> the most animated one on the stage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and my daughter, Vanessa Lynn, always does the high harmonies. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, and, yeah, so, uh, yeah, Paul, uh, I... I found out uh, this summer that he actually has has a studio where he does, yeah, he's does a, this stuff. He's a good guy and he <clears throat> yeah. he's very patient with us. Yeah. <laughs> she's, she's looking at me as she says that. <laughs> yes, with us. Yeah, yeah well, I, I, as I've talked yeah. to other people, like, you know, you, you, you just don't go in and belt out a tune and then they re, they record it and then uh, transfer it to a CD. There's a whole lot of work that goes into this. Like yeah, and, and, well, when the first day when we go, actually, I just kind of, I send the tunes in. I play the guitar mm-hmm. and just sing it and send it to them. But then we all get together in a room and then they'll say, oh, wow, this song, you know, we could do it this way and mm-hmm. give it this sound and this feel and you know why don't we try it like that and they try it and usually it works i oh my god they they're amazing musicians yeah yeah okay because that's another thing that i was going to ask you about was all right you both sing you're both doing the writing but who comes up with the musical thing so i guess it's a it's kind of a cooperative well, yeah, thing or do, you, do you have an idea what you want it to sound like um, or, more or do you, less yeah we kind of yeah they generally don't go far from like what you have yeah, written yeah like we done, have our but, melody we have the lyrics and we have the way i usually have it the way like verse chorus yeah. double chorus whatever and yeah. but yeah they don't they've been really really good but they th- once they start playing it's like wow you bring them in a seed and they turn that song into a yeah. flower it's yeah. amazing yeah so it's uh, you you sort of go in with a rough copy and they take the edges off it and uh, and out it comes with the, exactly yeah. yeah okay so uh so does now does he produce the cd like he produces them does he manufacture them too or do you have to uh, uh, no i had those made um out of quebec okay yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. i just wondered i i, I was I, i'm not sure of all of that stuff i'm not at the level where i where i need to know anything about making a cd <laughs> well so. if ever you're interested i can give you some contacts <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, I don't think that's going to happen. I mean, I, 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 well, yeah, that's right. I'm not right. done with you that's, yet. That's right, because <laughs> I always said the only thing I'll ever play is a radio, but the, yeah, then I went about bought a bass guitar. So anyway, that, it hasn't got me in trouble yet anyway, but but I've had a lot of fun with it. So yeah. Uh, so uh, just looking ahead, do you have anything uh, in the future? Are you, are, are, while you're doing this, doing this one, we'll say, are you looking ahead to another one, or are you just concentrating uh, well, on getting this? We've actually got uh, five or six songs, songs started, started already. And, yeah. um, and s- some are almost finished. Some are yes. just ideas. And we but. we actually wrote a, a Christmas song together too. That um, Christmas at Nanny's house that we haven't recorded yet. Okay. Yet. Yeah, this sounds like going to Family Values and all of that uh, yep, nice stuff there. I would love there. to have at least a, a Christmas EP would be super, super okay. nice. Yeah. yeah. yeah huh? I think Linda really wants to do another album, and I would Jeez. say in the near future, within another year to year and a half, you'll likely see something. But okay. um, that yeah. could change. But it, I, I know I, I live with her, yeah. and... I know we're better than anybody, and <laughs> she definitely wants another album. I yeah. already started writing a few little songs for our grandson Emmett. Yeah, and yeah, so hopefully uh, he's he's been doing good. Like he's, we we bring him to the mic and he sings, and yep. he's we've got him a guitar. He doesn't quite play yet, <laughs> but he'll get there. He'll get there. Yeah, <laughs> I'll she'll have a bit of an idea, and I get triggered, you know, to yeah. just. He, come up with a few words instantly almost especially if she's playing the guitar yeah uh, i i seem to be able to when i hear the melody quickly a word like words start to come to mind so okay. we have a song that we haven't recorded yet it's called what you give is what you get yeah. and we were on our honeymoon in punta cana and he woke up at six o'clock in the morning and he said 
I I just he, I dreamt a, of a song and he had the lyrics like the beginning of the lyrics and the melody so I grabbed my phone and we recorded it and you hear in the recording he's so tired and he just kind of hummed it and we did a few words and then when we got home we wrote it mm -hmm. yeah so hopefully we'll get to record that one too mm. Uh, when I sleep, I just sleep. I never, never. <laughs> we I, were, I can't get an inspiration when I'm awake. We were at an all-inclusive resort, so there could have been a late night involved. Oh, okay. Possibly, maybe I was dreaming and my mm. mind might have been altered. Yeah. <laughs> you probably weren't thirsty. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Maybe very thirsty for water when I woke. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, uh, we've, we've played two songs, and those are both off of the English version, and we're going to play a couple more off the English version. Predominantly, our audience is English, but uh, I like to play the French songs too because we got the folks. We want to say hi to everybody up there in Acadie, heading bonjour. up that way. Yeah, bonjour <laughs> there. How you doing, Fuller? <laughs> and uh, yes, because we do have uh, people that do listen out in the Shediac area and heading up uh, like Road 11, I That's call awesome. it. awesome. Yeah, and uh, so we're going to uh, do now. Let me see, Jeff. You're you're actually do a little bit of uh, vocals here, don't you? On it's this. a duet actually, and he. Basically, just learned how to sing yeah, it in French. She, yeah, uh, she said, go ahead, you're going to learn to sing this in French. And so I practiced and went into the studio and actually did okay. Yeah. I wouldn't know if I did okay, but yeah, apparently she apparently says I got the thumbs up approval from her anyway. So. Yeah, okay, yeah. So that, I, th I, th I found this quite interesting. I thought, yeah, the guy there from Murray Corner there, he's he's th singing French language songs. I thought, well, hmm, well, he's paying attention or he's being told exactly what he's going to do. One the other. <laughs> anyway, maybe a little bit of both. She told me, and I, and yeah. me I pay attention to it. So now this one is uh, Linda Arsenault, and of course uh, uh, Jeff is on it also, and, it, and it's new Nouveau du Mera. Nos vœux de mariage. Okay. Our vows. Nos vœux de, de mariage. <laughs> Our vows in English, but here is the French version, folks. Aujourd'hui, je te dis oui. Je te veux pour la vie Je te donne mon amour Je te promets le respect Je t'aimerai comme ton mari de vrai Aujourd'hui, je te dis oui Je te veux pour la vie Je ne suis rien, veux-tu vieillir avec moi 
toi. Okay, en français there, yeah. That was, uh, yeah, and I, I won't try to uh, elaborate on it. Uh, we also noticed, folks, that uh, I think uh, there's a, in the transfer of these files, we might have lost a little bit of quality, but we're going to check that out anyway. But uh, rest assured that uh, if you notice a little bit of a quality problem, it is not on the CDs. Because <laughs> <laughs> no, it's something to do in our system because I've listened to the CDs. Um, and uh, nope, that's fine. But anyway, so hey, you gotta love technology, right? It's that's gr- right. It's great stuff when it's working right. In fact, I gotta. <laughs> I don't know if you, uh, I'm still on uh, Windows uh, Seven, is it? Yeah. So I got a, I got a note there the other day that uh, they're not gonna be backing me up or new uh, thing, you know. So yeah. yeah, at my home computer. So. We get a little frustrated with the yeah. technology. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, technology, as you said, it's great when it works, and when yeah. it doesn't work. When it doesn't work, whoa, oh boy. Yeah. And it's always the computer's fault, right, Michelle? Most That's a private yeah, joke, okay, my okay, sister-in-law. Good. <laughs> yes, it goes. <laughs> yeah. so, okay, so um, what, what, what do you want What do you want to let the people know now, Linda? Well, what, what? Um, just basically that um, if you, when you listen to the CD, you have to um, listen with an open heart and that... A lot of the the stories. I, I wish I could tell you all of the stories that go with every song because it's it's pretty yeah. funny to me, anyways. Well, it's <laughs> and if, it's dear. If people listen to it, and uh, I'm like, uh, what I was doing is I, I was listening to it because I knew that we were going to be uh, introducing the CD here today and whatnot, and with the interview and everything. So I, I, I paid attention and I, I really listened to the words and. For me to come up with what what we just talked about about how you know being mm-hmm. satisfied with things and not expecting great things, just uh, expect what you deserve type of thing. Yeah. Uh, I, for me to for me to pick up on that, it must come through pretty clear because I'm normally <laughs> not that. Well, that, there's uh, one. Um, I love my life. Um, that one basically is inspired by my sister-in-law Michelle. Okay. And we wrote that Jeff and I together in Halifax and. Um, Basically, it's just um, she's worked really hard to. She's a really positive person, but mm-hmm. you know, at times in your life, you have um, times when things are harder. And she is just someone to look up to because she eats right and she um, works out and you know tries to limit her wine to the weekends <laughs> <laughs> and her white russians <laughs> we try what about, what about, a, long, what about a long weekend <laughs> <laughs> well then that's different, that's different. Okay. but anyways that one is kind of about her about her mm-hmm. and uh sales of remembrance is is about you know the the, yeah, it's the a, celebration in the summer a, at the well, church. it's a church service that yeah. helps to raise okay. money and and the to, church, so to remember, yeah, to you know. remember ones who've passed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so that one's so we special. Wrote that song for that, yeah. um, there's so many Linda, Lou, Linda Marie, of mm-hmm. course, my mother-in-law, and we have the same name now. Yep. <laughs> okay. Yeah, each song has a story pretty well. Each and song usually, has a story. Usually inspired. Monday morning blues was written um, by a, a long weekend. <laughs> one of those yeah. long weekend. Oh, yeah. Things yeah. Okay. Okay. Michelle and Jerry come over. Um, Linda and Gary, my in-laws and um i think sandra was there that night and we kind of got into singing karaoke till probably three or four in the morning Mm -hmm. and i wrote this song monday morning blues um on a monday morning (laughs) (laughs) a little bit still tired and it talks about oh morgan was there because she fell remember yeah it was just (laughs) (laughs) yeah it was so if if you're anywhere near linda (laughs) you, you definitely could end up in a song okay that's right okay well um you can't get much closer than waking up next to you, can you? <laughs> so, yeah, that it, is Jeff's that, song to me. That was inspired because... He says beautiful things to yeah, me. Yeah, and most mornings uh, I roll over and that's a line I always yeah. would say to her like when I wake up. You know. So I stencil that on our wall in the bedroom, yes. waking up next to you. So, it's pretty special. So were you the main writer on this one? Uh, um, Jeff? No, I think we, we just wrote it together. It's yeah, just that it was I was basically, what I used to say was, the best part of my day is waking up next to you. Mm-hmm. And I would yeah. say that in the morning, and so she went, wow, there's a song. Yeah. So <laughs> it says here that Linda did most of the writing, oh, but, well, but, but yeah. you're, you're going to do the singing. So. Well, it doesn't matter, because as far as I'm concerned, she does all the writing. Well, so. it's hard to even remember, because we do, we work so much together that... <laughs> Oops. 
<laughs> so I okay. guess I didn't get my byline, is what you're saying? Uh, okay. Well, anyway, what we're going to do here now, folks, is off of Linda Erson of Redneck Girl CD, but it's it's Jeff. Yes, Yay, Jeff is sitting here solo. waking up next to you. Right from the very start. You I do anything when you're playing your guitar, just being who you are, you just make me wanna sing. You are the sunshine in my day. I love you in every way to the moon and back. I promise I'll be true. No man has And the best part of my day Is waking up next to you Waking up next to you. Well, it's about time we woke up, isn't it? Well, are you folks awake out there? Well, I hope you are, because uh, what we're going to do is we are going to, uh, let me see, we're going to give away another one. So if you can be the first caller in, we'll give you another one of those uh, CDs there. Linda Arsenault with her husband, Jeff Persons. Well, look at that. They're coming here like crazy. Hello. How you doing? Hello. I'm doing great. Uh, that's great. You're on the air here with us. Uh, let me see. Uh, you are the first caller. You are going to get a... What am I doing? Uh, there we go. <laughs> Sorry. I'm having button problems here again. Okay. Oh, now, no. Yeah. We're, we're all right now. Yeah. We got you on the air there. So uh, can you tell us your name? Vicki Scott. Vicki Scott. Oh, Vicki. Hi, Linda and Jeff. Hi. <laughs> Hello, Vicky. Oh, yeah, Linda says, oh, Vicky. Yes. <laughs> okay, so uh, are you from down there way, are you? I was, yeah. I live in Amherst now. You was, okay. Well, okay. Well, uh, yeah, we, well, I moved too, but uh, I didn't move out of town. I just moved closer to the middle of town. <laughs> but anyway, okay, Vicky, uh, you can drop into the station here, and we'll have a CD here ready for you. You can pick your choice there, English or Francais there, whichever you'd like. And thanks a lot for listening, and thanks for calling in. Thank you. All right, bye, Vicky. Thank you. Bye. Okay, so there we go. A former neighbor, apparently, has uh, mm-hmm. now uh, rounded up one of your CDs. So that's great. We've given away a couple CDs. Uh, let me see. We've got uh, 
we got uh, another song here. Now, you mentioned this one uh, a little bit ago, and it's called Linda Lou, Linda Marie. Yeah. Tell us about that one. Well, um, well, actually, my legal name is now Linda Parsons, okay. but my artist name stays as Linda Arsenal. Right. And um, so it kind of complicates things just a little bit because we live in Murray Corner and it's not a big place. No. And <laughs> so we're both Linda Parsons. And that's my mother-in-law. Mother-in-law. Yeah, mom. Okay. That's mom. <laughs> mom. I know she's listening out yeah. there. Yeah. Mom, I got your little boy here. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I struggled uh, when I first met her. It was weird to call, well, at the time, my girlfriend, Linda. It just yeah. was strange. Yeah. Not that I don't like my mother. It's just strange to have your girlfriend <laughs> with the same name. Yeah, and even when we go to a family function, you know, they'll say Linda, and we both look up like, hello. Yeah. So um, her middle name is Lou. And my middle name is Marie. So, so we started going by Linda Lou and Linda Marie. And I was like, oh, wow, there's a song there. Uh, so <laughs> Jeff said, it, you, yeah. You, yeah, you're going to end up with a song if you say anything <laughs> around you. But, uh. That's right. <laughs> oh, definitely. I, okay. say, I, I think at some point people are going to just stop talking altogether around yeah. Linda. Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> if they say anything that might be funny or, or even witty, that yeah. it, like in the witty term, she may go, hmm. Mm. Or if they do something a little silly it could end yeah, up in a song yeah, is, yeah. Uh, Morgan uh, which is mo- like our niece she found out because she had a little spill on the ice uh, and that's mentioned in one of the songs in the Monday morning blues, in the Monday morning yes. blues song, so. well Linda and I we both like wine and um, she black Russians are, are her favorite okay. drink and she doesn't like frogs and I like birds and it's all in there in the song okay well here we go we're going to play another one here this is Linda Lou and Linda Marie Johnson, the Emergency Management Coordinator for the Cumberland Region. During a major emergency, an emergency kit will help make sure your family can function on their own for 72 hours. For more information on kits and emergency preparedness, go to getprepared.ca or contact the Cumberland Regional Emergency Management Office at 902-667-3746. 
This message brought to you by CFTA 107.9. The weather outside is frightful, but inside it's so delightful. Pull your blinds, all blinds down low. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Hunter Interiors has the largest selection of blinds, some with very special finds. Some are blackout, some are not. Others block the sun, but you can see out. For you, we will install and pay the tax at Hunter Interiors, 58 Albion Street, Amherst, Nova Scotia. There we go. Hey, we're back with Linda Arsenault and Jeff Parsons. Yes, husband and wife team here. Uh, co-writers, co-singers, and everything here. Co, co everything. Hey, that's, that's co-dependent. A, <laughs> co-dependent. Co, uh, and and in Jeff's case, cooperative. Yes, yes, yes. very cooperative. Very cooperative. That's right. It, uh, no, uh, we've been we've been playing some of our music there, and uh, it's it's great. Uh, and we've given away a couple of CDs there, uh, and uh, so it's been a great afternoon for me. I really enjoyed having you in, and we've extended this one since we get to two of you here. It's just uh, just so much to talk about, and. Uh, uh, now, um, I interviewed another lady um, by the name of Flo Durrell, who you were familiar with, because you and her have... Uh, we're friends. You were friends, and you, you, you actually, uh, I think you, you did a little backup on, on um, hers. Yeah, and, and we've stuff worked like together uh, yeah. before. Uh, we've co-written, and um, uh, she actually sang on a couple of songs that are on my previous albums. Um, I was single at the time. I wrote An Um, Which Is a Man, and she sang on it with Nancy uh, Blanchard as well. Mm -hmm. And then once I met Jeff, I wrote uh, An Um Finalement, Which Is a Man, finally, and we kind of joke around how I found a hot fisherman, and well, there you it's, go. All, it's all there. <laughs> it's and she's a great there. singer. I love, I love her music. Yeah. Well, uh, m my first thought was, though, why aren't you two singing together? Ah, ha, ha, funny you say that. Um, one of the three of us uh, there's Flo and I and Nancy Nancy sent us a message uh, a few weeks ago saying hey we should uh, do something for Christmas maybe the three of us together mm -hmm. So I haven't been on stage for a while, so we'll we'll think about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, okay, uh, Nancy, Nancy, what was her name? Blasha. Blasha, yeah. Yeah. Um, think She's it, from Reve, the group Reve. Okay. A, a French Acadian band. Mm -hmm. Okay, because I'm thinking, that, uh, is that the name of the person I given her my card? I heard her at the. Um, Ryan Mallory yes, show. Yes, I bet you, because I think she was she there. Probably I'm was there. Was Flo sure. at that show? Flo was there. Yes. Yeah, I Flo think she might have been uh, too. Nancy. Yeah, mm -hmm. and Brian and uh, mm -hmm. some fellas, and Georgette Jones was back in town for that yep. one too. So yep. yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, uh, no, she's very good. I'd yes. like to get get her to send Actually, me some her, stuff. Her father uh, and my father were first cousins, so oh, we're distant right? cousins, okay. Nancy and I. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, no, that that's uh, that, that that would be great. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, is that <laughs> if the two of you were together, I, I tend to think that'd be a dynamite. Uh, we've we've dynamite talked about duo. it. Duo, <laughs> yeah. But of course, uh, the, the way it is now, I mean, uh, you have total control over Jeff. So, <laughs> <laughs> getting, well, we won't go that far. Getting, getting on the music oh end, gosh. she does. Getting but. getting together to uh, work on one of these things. I, I suppose when when it's when it's two people who are like a distance apart and stuff like that, it mm -hmm. it, it probably takes, it would be more takes difficult. a lot of yeah. coordination and yeah. time to get together to do something too. Yeah, you know, yeah. A, I mean, I'm not saying that you know a project like that yeah. wouldn't be doable but yeah. um i think jeff and i living in the same house and yeah. having this, that same interest it's yeah. it's pretty it's pretty awesome <laughs> well it, it, it'd be uh, it'd be great for me even if just if if uh, sometime you were together at the at a same live thing and you sang together that that yes. wouldn't that wouldn't oh, take a sure. that wouldn't take a whole lot of production type mm -hmm. of thing but, as, no, yeah it's no, funny because flo she's, messaged she's, me you're, yesterday you're guys, she was like we have to do something. <laughs> yeah, no, you, but you, your guys' voices, they're, they're, uh, they they—they just seem like any time I've heard you in the background on hers or her in the background on yours, it just seems to work for me. Anyway. <laughs> but then, of course, hey, I've got these ears, but uh, so, no, it sounds sounded really good. So, Okay, so we've, we've got one more song, but we're going we're gonna to close with that. So I'm looking at my time here. We've got to kill a couple of minutes here before. Okay, uh, Jeff. Jeff, I don't know if we mentioned it, but today is actually Linda's birthday. Uh, oh yes, right. <laughs> and <laughs> we talked about it before. <laughs> yeah, and I thought maybe I should bring it up yeah. because uh, I didn't want to leave here and she'd look at me and say, "Why didn't you do that?" Yeah. Well, uh, I, I, was, I actually forgot. I, I was thinking <laughs> earlier. You got a you got a CD that debuts today, and 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 you made you made your debut on this date too. So. That's right. right. You so, did. Yeah. So that's a, it's yeah. a pretty special day. Yeah. But I noticed that Jeff is uh, well trained. He didn't say anything about 
ages. Or no. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's no, a sensitive no. topic. Yeah, and I know better than that. Yeah. So yeah, but no. uh, <laughs> I want the rest of my day ask, to go good. You never ask a woman her age, no. anyways. Right? No, you're a very young looking 21, I must say. <laughs> yes, she is. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're building up brownie points now. Okay. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> so, uh, look, I, I've, en- I've enjoyed this. I uh, can hardly wait for your. I mean, we're just getting this one launched, but I can hardly wait for your next one. Well, and, thank uh, you for having us. This oh, was yeah. a oh, lot of fun. You know, really the, that's the, the whole the whole idea of this is to get the local people in here, and uh, you know, I mean, the talent that we got around here it's it's amazing. It's amazing. I love With not the all like the local artists. I'm mm-hmm. pretty much up on. I know who's who, yep. and I think it's great that you here support all of us because yeah. it's a wonderful thing for us. And without people like you, uh, people like us couldn't get our music out. No. Well, we're community radio. You're part of the community, so we got to stick together. we got to do what we can for each other, right? And That's I right. truly uh, respect the musicians now yeah. much more than I did before I was yeah. involved with, oh, with oh. Linda. and Lurie. Once you start, you realize how good everyone else is. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, and he listens to lyrics so much more now in the songs. Yeah, right. it's changed uh, the way I look at music. And uh, when I watch live music, even to watch... Uh-huh. People perform. How talented like some tonight, of them are. actually, we're on our way to watch Jim Cuddy, who's okay. an, an amazing musician. Yeah, and yeah so we're pretty so excited. So we're both looking yeah. forward to that. Yeah. And it just you, you learn to respect when you're involved in it. It gives you a great respect. Well, for, you and for I others. are kind of on the same path uh, at about the same time because I listened to music all my life, never paid attention. But now, since I started this radio type stuff, and, sure. and listening to people, and uh, yeah, you 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 get a whole much. You got a better appreciation of what oh, actually goes sure. into this stuff, you mm-hmm. know, the work that has to go into it. So, yeah, that's great. Uh, I, I, I've had a great time. Thank you very much for coming in. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Hopefully, we can sell a whole bunch of your CDs, and you know, it's just great. And we look forward to the rest of it. Best of luck in everything, whether it's singing or fishing or cutting bait. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> okay. Thank you very so, much. Okay, now this. Uh, I love my life. That's the name of the last song that's going to take us out. This is for you, Michelle. Okay, here you go, Michelle. Linda Arsenault, I love my life. Thanks a lot, folks. I'm just a small town girl living in this big old world. I never ask for much, no need for diamonds or pearls. Mother and wife, and I love my life. From the sunrise in the morning to the sunset at night, I try to make the best of things, make everything just right. I eat well and I work out. Most of the time, come the weekend, it's white Russians and red wine. I'm just a small town girl, living in this big old world. I never ask for much, no need for diamonds or pearls. I found my way to happiness through hard work and love. I am a mother and wife, and I love my life. What you give is what you get I believe the life we live will get better yet A clean life on the weekdays, well, that's just fine Come the weekend, it's white rations and red wine I'm just a small town girl Living in this big old world I never ask for much, no need for diamonds or pearls Hard work and love. I am a mother and wife, and I love my life. I'm just a small town girl living in this big old world. I never ask for much, no need for diamonds or pearls.
And there's no I love my life. And that's, uh, that comes through very well on the uh, lyrics and on all of those songs that are on that CD. And again, I don't know what happened to the quality there. Something got lost in the shuffle. Uh, don't know what it is, but boy, we're gonna, we're, I'm going to get our, uh, our uh, wizard on it there. Yes, Ron will, Ron will figure that out, what's going on anyway. So, hey, we're at uh, 2 minutes past 3 o'clock now, folks, taking a quick look at our weather for Cumberland Westmoreland.